What's up, YouTubers? Today, we're going to be giving away the Blue Ridge Knives Avispa. Avispa, Spanish for wasp. Yeah, I think it's probably very appropriate. But uh, this was designed by Mike Perrin and Jeff Randall of RAT, Randall's Adventure Training. Um, so you may recognize it. We're going to talk about it in just a bit. It. Um, but for those that are wondering, yes, that is the exact same handle as the RAT 1 from Ontario Knife. And uh, this particular blade has a 3.5 inch blade made of OS 8 Super Steel, not Super Steel. Um, just kidding. Stainless steel, reasonable. It's like 57, 59 hardness. It weighs 4.4 ounces and it priced at $35 and still prices at $35. So why am I giving this knife away? I'll jump right to that. Primarily because I'm, I, not that I frown entirely upon tip down carry, but I am a tip up carry person for the most part. And when I went move moved this one from the tip down carry to tip up, the, the uh, clip lands right on the frame and puts all sorts of pressure that basically, not a problem on deployment, but on return, I can't do it one handed. This literally, this way, I have to literally do it two handed. So it, it might as well be a slip joint that locks. Um, you know, it's very strange. So in that sense, the tip down carry, and you know what? I don't need this knife. I think somebody else will find it. So I never really did a proper carry. This is an overview. I'm not doing a full review because I didn't do a full carry, but it does go fine in the pocket. Works great. It has tip down, tip up, right hand, left hand. So full carry for anybody who wants this. Um, yeah, it's yours. Uh, I'll get to the uh, giveaways at towards the end. Actually, you know what? I'll just go and put it in now, and I'll remind later. Go ahead and put in the comments your favorite frame lock knife. Just put in your fra favorite frame lock knife. You can put other things, but I suggest not necessarily saying, oh, for the giveaway, I would like to say that my favorite frame lock knife is this. You know, if you want to, that's fine. Knock yourself out. Send other people here. Um, it does reduce your chances of winning this knife. Just saying here. You know, that's mathematics at, 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 uh, at play there. So let's talk a little bit about this knife. This knife basically evolved from the SC Zancudo with an, a Z. This is the Zancudo with an X. I will go ahead and link the review of this fixed blade. Excellent fixed blade up there. But again, this is the Zancudo with an X, which is essentially just the fixed blade of the Zancudo with a Z. But it is the exact same blade. So to kind of look at really where this comes from, we can just overlay it and you can see that oops, you can see that this shape is essentially a little bit smaller but it is identical this is literally an identical shaped blade and so that's what they wanted basically to make a bigger one and they said well what would be a good handle because this one wouldn't necessarily the zancudo wouldn't necessarily extend as well and so they said oh we have this great one called the rat one and it fits excellently and so that's how this particular knife evolved um fairly simple uh, one thing I, I will point out, though, as we do some comparisons, the Rat 2, is, or the Rat 1, rather, over here, is, is significantly thicker blade stock. I haven't measured it, but it is thicker um, than this one. And it's also, the other thing really to point out, is that it's a lot thicker in hand. And so for me, that's why I would always choose the Rat 1 over this Avispa. That's why I'm giving it away. For the most part so actually you know what we'll just keep this out as far as some comparisons or alternatives the ontario rat one is 5.0 ounces goes for 42 dollars this particular one's in d2 steel but it also comes in os8 that's the 42 dollar one and the ontario rat two the smaller one the two smaller okay um but that this one has a 3.6 inch blade 3.5 inch blade and a 3.0 inch blade so if you need the smaller one that's kind of, you know, this one kind of fits in there. It's obviously just, a, you know, akin to this one. Just going to be a little bit easier to carry and legally in some areas that have a 3.5 inch blade. So, you know, that's what really, no more to say about this. We can jump into the pros and then uh, just kind of give this knife away and cons. Um, so this has a really good stone wash um, blade. Kind of a little bit of a feedback there from my lighting. But the stone washing is really good on it. I actually do prefer it over the satin blade of the of the uh, Ontario Rat 2 or Rat 1. There we go. Flip-flopping. The action is decent. Um, I have to give a little bit of risk just because, you know, there is, in fact, a phosphor bronze washer in there. If it's, I don't know if it's like the Rats where it also happens to have a Teflon washer as well. I can just see the copper. I haven't disassembled this. Haven't used it, like I said. Haven't done a proper carry and disassembly, that sort of thing. So it is very thin. Let me go ahead and show the blade stock here. But this is the smaller rat, too. The, the blade stock, there you go. So it's about the same 
blade stock is that, but because it's a taller flat grind, it actually has a little bit better blade geometry. So in that sense, that's definitely a pro of this particular knife. And then as I did mention, it has right hand, left hand, tip up and tip down. So you can mount that everywhere, but I have to end up doing this two handed. Let's jump right into the cons of this knife. Um, it's, you know, the thin is great for carry, but the thin is not so good in hand. Again, I kind of want to bring out the Rat 1. You can just see the difference in, in thickness here. These, the, the, this one, the Rat, just is so much more comfortable in hand. And if I was going to kind of twist and beat on something a little bit, I would choose that one. This one's very thin in hand, super thin. Really good for the carry. You know, like I said, I like it for the carry. And then the blade geometry cuts really, really well. Cuts a little bit better than the, um, than the Rat. But uh, for me, I just, I need a little bit more this. It feels a little bit flimsy in hand for my medium large hands. And then I already talked about the tip up right hand carry lands right on that lock, uh, the lock bar, and just basically makes it, there's no real easy enough position to disengage. I can, but boy, I have to really like work around. <laughs> it just, it just doesn't work. So I was like, you know what? I think somebody else will find the use of this blade. So once again, for the giveaway, um, you know, my overall is that I'm giving this away, but I hope that this finds a good home for somebody. Enter your favorite friend lock knife into the comments and you will be entered. I don't know, it'll be a week or so, uh, maybe a week or two. And I will come back and actually put it in the description who the winner is as well as respond to the winner and everybody else who did not win. So good luck on this one and I uh, appreciate your time. I appreciate the like and subscribe. Take care.